darling, how far has the police gone about that case? Have they been able to come out with anything positive? Well, they are trying their best. We just hope they come up with a positive result. Hmm. From the look of things, I think that boy could have been dead by now. So there's no need for the police to, 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 to keep stressing themselves over this matter. Moreover, I asked you not to admit that boy into your hospital, but you wouldn't listen to me. You refuse. Now, see what that boy has cost you. Eh? You have lost two professional doctors and nurses. Enough of all this nonsense. Enough. Let me warn you. Make sure you are not part of this rubbish. If not, you will never like the other side of me. In fact, that meal you are preparing, I am not interested in it anymore. It hasn't come to that now. It has come to that. What you just said, ma. Ah, oh, darling. Could you permit such a thing? Come here. Hey. 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 Because of this, this small trudeau I just talked now. Leave my presence. <laughs> because I just said the truth. That's why all of you are angry. Is that? Okay, now. No, I want to ask you a few questions and I, I really need you to be of help to me. Um, I realized that you were the person that rescued Jenny when she slumped down in that hospital. Yes, that's true. Okay. Can you just tell me what you observed, what really happened that very day? Well, detective, at that day, I saw her, she was unconscious on the floor, so I rushed down after I came out. So I rushed down to go and help her. And I found out that Ikena was not there, it's as if he went out, something like that. It's as if he went out. That's all that happened that day. Okay, okay. Um, I also realized that um, she was admitted into the hospital. Yes, that day she was unconscious, so we have to admit that to the hospital. Okay, very well. Did you observe anything? Like, is there anything you observed around her that could make her slump to that extent? Well, detective, that we are still running the test. So, after the text result comes out, I can provide those answers. Pass for now, I don't have those answers. It's all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Yeah. Smoke 
No one is passing by Abby. Abby, I'm going to punish you for the accident. Idiot. Highness, Highness, Jack wants to see you. They can do an emergency. You know. But you never use your head, Abby. My boss bust your head before. My dear, there is no positive report yet. They have not said anything. No. Have you told his father or sister about it? No, 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 no. I don't think it's necessary now. I don't have to get them involved in it yet. Not now. Serious, you have to be strong. Huh? Just be strong. I strongly believe that nothing will happen to your kind now. Huh? Be strong. We go. Relax. It's okay. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm okay. <sighs> so, what can I get you? Don't what worry. Don't worry, I'm okay. What do you mean by don't worry, you're okay? Don't worry, okay? I'm fine. Please stop it. You're not feeling fine. You're not strong yet. I'm sorry. Okay, you put food on. I'll be right back. You always insist. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you forget now. Alright, um, I just want to make a few findings from you. In respect of what happened that very day. Can you recall anything that took place? that day. I was in the hospital with the Kenya. He was unconscious, so I was there with him. All of a sudden, I don't know, people just came in and took him away. I don't just know what they did to me. Were you able to um, see any any of the personalities that came, like to get a physical um, look of any of them? No, oh, sir. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, can you recall how many they were in number? It's alright, it's alright. I I understand how it is, okay? Sorry for the stress. Hmm? Okay. It's okay, I just wanted to find out if you have any information you can give us to help us get this case perfect. It's okay. Hmm? Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then if there's anything we need from you, be sure you'll be invited. Definitely. Okay. Alright, let's take out. This way, please.
Are you telling me that Black has been caught by the policemen? Jack, I do not think that he'll be able to enter the torture. He will sell out the secret of his hijack. Who on this planet Earth gave those fools, those idiots, the address to Blackie's house? He lost his phone at the last place of operation. And the police picked it up, used the voice tracker to track the last place of call. And that's how they got to know. Mm. What am I going to do now? Jax, listen. The police will be here in the next two hours. We need to leave this place. You have to make arrangements for another hideout. But before that, you have a duty to do. I need you to kill Blackie at arrival. Because I'm very sure the police will come with him. What is wrong with you? Why will you tell me to kill my own boy? Jack, this is simple. Blackie knows you in and out. He's about the only person that can, 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 can leak our secrets. See, if we do not do this, this will spell doom for us. Ha! Mr. Blackie. You see, I want you to cooperate with us. I promise you that nobody will hear about what happened here. Only if you cooperate. You think that we are not serious here? <laughs> Better start talking now. Are you hearing me? You're getting nothing from me. Go to. I really believe you don't know whom I am. Listen, I know you even more than you do know yourself. Your name is Stephen Brown. The only surviving son of Mr. and Mrs. Brown. And out of my research, I find that you have a four-year-old daughter. A daughter you love so much and would never want anything to happen to her. But you see, I get what I want to get when I want to get them. Even if it means taking life, especially when it comes to hardened criminals like you. As I speak to you, your daughter is in my custody. And I know you must be wondering what would happen to her in the next few minutes if you don't speak. Please. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I beg you. Don't hurt her. Please, you better stop, stop talking. She's all I have. Please. Please, I beg you. As far as our safety is guaranteed. I thank you. Then start talking now! Please! Nothing will happen to her. Yes. Nothing will happen to her. Only if you will cooperate. Where is the location Mr. Ikena is kept? How many are you in your gang? And who are you working for? An all completed building at Kovic location. What? We were six in number. We're working for one Sandra Dixit. <laughs> okay. I've 
there's something that is getting me confused. Something is getting complicated. You see, I made research on the name the suspect mentioned, Sandra Dixon. And the name came out for it. In other words, nobody is bearing that name. I even went to the federal database of the country and I still did not find anybody without identification. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you did a thorough check? Cindy, you shouldn't be saying this. I mean, you know me on my profession. And this is something I've been for years. I don't make mistakes when it comes to name search. I really searched for this name and it still came out for me. Really? Well, I feel that there's something fishy. Listen, irrespective of whatever it is that is fishy, right? We should be more interested in the location. Where's the location please? He made mention of one convict location as their hideout. In that case, we have to get the bus and then move at once. Sure, sure. sure. I will talk to the boys in the All right. All right. I think it's time to get back to work. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Everything happened. Up to this moment, I have not gotten any information about it. Came. I don't even know if he's still alive. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> oh, not again. I don't want to find like this. Stop it. Auntie, stop crying, okay? Something in me tells me my brother Ikena is still alive. And he's going to return anytime soon. I just hope so. I just Please. hope so. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Just do okay, this. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Stop this. Stop this. I want to see him. You see him soon. Stop this, please. Twally, my boss. Sorry, my boss. Your package you don't show. Oh! Uh, baby. May you give me 20 years, man. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I enjoy. Oh, no, no, no. She could. Now, please. Come, 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 come. Wow, wow, wow. You sit like this, okay? I'm fine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been calling your line. You're not picking. Since oh. yesterday. I've been trying it. Don't worry yourself, now. Me, I know why they're coming. Now, no be the money matter. Hey, not the money now. Oh, no need to pick at night. Don't come in. Don't come. We'll sort out the matter. No be so. Huh? No be waiting for they call me. <laughs> ja. Hey, Sandy baby. Ja. How would they now? Well, no matter the matter, no matter. Hmm? Um, I'll love them um, to a side. What do you have on now? What do you want to talk now? Jack. That's all. Baby, go and wait for me in my little abode. I will see you shortly. Jack. We have to let him go. What, who are you talking about? He can now. What are you saying? 
I lost one of my own. You are telling me to let him go? Jack, it's for your own safety. You are really mad. You should be out of your mind. I killed one of my boy. And you are telling me to let him go. I don't get you. I don't understand. You think if police come after my life, they will get me? They can't get me! I am invincible! No way! Not it! Listen, we do not have time for all these arguments. As I talk to you, the police has every data of you. This is how you should be. Release him and reduce the police search on you. But if you say you do not want to do that, get ready to join your boy. Is that a traitor word? <laughs> Listen to me. A man can see where Pado. I am prepared. And I won't have you teach me my work. This is my 15 years of experience in this business. And you are here to order me around? Be careful, watch your tongue. Those are my friends. If you don't get out of here, I'll deal with you. When next you step your feet in my terrain, I will make sure I kill you. Your eyes, your nose, and your tongue. Your ears are important to me. I will eat them up. Watch your tongue. Noises. Your days are numbered already. a while I haven't seen you. Yeah. Look at you. You're looking so beautiful. Wow. And uh, you, you don't want to. <laughs> Let me not complete it. It's okay. <laughs> and you too. Thanks. Thank you. But you know what? I'm not happy with you. Well, what have I done again? How could you be passing? I mean, you're not trying. How could you be passing in front of my office without stopping to say hi? Is that what I have done? Of course, that is what you've done. Ah, okay, I am sorry about that. But you should know that during election period, that I hardly had time for myself. How much more looking out for anything? Is that I am campaigning with my husband or I am attending one meeting or the other with him? Mm. So please, don't count on that now. Mm, political <laughs> wife. That's where we eat. Honestly, 
You deserve it. Of course. Um, that's by the way. How is my son-in-law? <laughs> I haven't seen him for some time. You said son-in-law. Yeah, son -in -law, son -in -law. he's my son-in-law. It's okay. You know that um, all this marriage drama was really telling on my son. The weight was so much on him that I looked at him and I decided that the best thing I can do for him is to ask him to travel back to space. Seriously? My son is still very young. I don't want anything to happen to him. I understand. And besides, marriage is not a do or die affair. But you know, Anita, I'm still working out something. No, off it. Allow them. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't work out, we still remain as good friends. How about that? Good. <laughs> so, how is your husband? Um, sir, I brought this little token for you. I want to say a very big thank you for everything you've done for me, for your kind heartedness towards me. Sir, I really appreciate it. You are welcome, my son. Thank you. Ikenna. I had no other choice than to help you. When you see a man that is determined, it shows in his actions. Moreover, my daughter says she loves you. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And, sir, one more thing. And this is very important. I want to start preparing for our marriage. Igen. Sir. That's thoughtful of you. So when do you intend to? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, um, I, I came so I can um, seek your consign. Anytime you want me to start up the plan, I will. Oh, you have my blessings and support. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, sir. You can... Uh, that is good. You are now your man. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Anita. Why did you take you long to pick my call? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I was not around the phone. How are you doing? What do I mean? Uh, please, something came up and I would like to see you in my house if you don't mind. Is there a problem? <sighs> What is this that I am hearing? That Rose is getting married to Ikena. <sighs> My friend, it's not what you think. You know, I wouldn't want to hurt you because of our friendship. It's my husband. He approved the marriage without my knowledge. So what are you doing to stop it? As a matter of fact, I withdraw my interest from it. Yes, and you know what that means. It means that all my promises to you will not hold. Helen, it hasn't gotten to that. Huh? Don't forget that we're still friends. I'm going to talk to my husband to change his mind. Huh? Please calm down. Anita, you talking to your husband to change his mind is for your own good. Yes. My dear friend, you know what I can do? Yes, I'm sure you know what I can do. I know.
Bom. Yes, sir. So you mean I am going to lose Rose? My son, calm down. I know how you feel. I know you're hot. But Anita has promised me the wedding will not hold. She also gave me her word that we should do everything within her power to see that the wedding will not hold. And I trust my friend. And I know you know me. You know what I can do. I believe my friend. So son, you see, you have to come back and put yourself together. And then trust me. Mom, I'll be back. Where are you going to? Ikena is getting married to Rose this Saturday at St. Andrew's Catholic Church. 10 a.m. And guess what? The police will be there. I need you guys to carry out your duties. But you need to be very careful. Me have the spirit. Police need to catch me. This is what I use feeding myself, taking care of my bills. So no qualms. Trust me. Business is business. Business is business. My last balance is important. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra! My last balance is important.
Mr. Kennedy Pedro. You see, I really want you to cooperate with me. So I can do the same for you. I'll be asking you some questions. And all I need from you is just the truth. I realized you left the wedding venue yesterday for the closing time. Please, may I know where you were and why you had to leave at that time. M Mr. Mr. Inspector, what are you insinuating? No, 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 tell me. What are you insinuating? Hold on. Do you realize whom you are talking to? Do you know me? Yes, I do. Mr. Kennedy, I realize I'm talking to the son of the Honorable Minister of Information. Good. And I also realize that this son of the Honorable Minister was involved in a rape incident a few months ago. And this has been kept a secret, even up to date. You see, Mr. Kennedy, if only you can cooperate with me, I bet you I can keep this a secret for life. No one will hear about it. Think about it, how it will look like if this goes viral. The son of the Honorable Minister of Information uh, caught in a dead act of sex. A European king, it could cost your life imprisonment. I want you to cooperate. But if you cooperate, we can do this. So, um... Listen to me. That stupid boy, you can man. That will release has refused to bring back my money. Yes, sir. I heard uh, he's, in, he's in one hospital taking free medication. That's it, sir. Go there. Go there. I hear you, sir. And teach him a lesson of his life. Yes, boss. If you can kill him, take his life. I get you right. I listen to me. Yes, sir. Do what I ask you to do. Move. Yes, sir. Are you young man? I'm Dr. Kevin. Dr. Kevin? Yeah. Wait. Doctor, with this.
young man. You see, you're a very promising young man that has a good future ahead of you. And I really want to help you out of this mess. And the only thing you can do for me is just to cooperate. What were you doing in the hospital? And why were you putting up, putting on a lab coat? <laughs> you see, one thing I don't like is when I talk to people and they keep silent. It gets me annoyed. I'm going to pardon you. You have an old mother in the village. She is fearing and hoping on you for survival. She believes you came to the city. You're working to do well. To matter for her. I don't know how it will sound to you or how she will feel if she hears that her only son was killed. You might lose her, you know. So I would have preferred that you just go quit and help yourself out of this mess. I can help you build a new future. I know you ventured into it because of condition and the situation around the society. You see, I've made up my mind to help you. That is why I'm talking to you this way. I know vividly that you are working for Jack, the notorious assassin. But you see, if you can cooperate, you will see yourself out there in the street again, working as a free man. I want you to tell me where is your location? Where is Jack's location? Or are you still in the old location? You still do not want to talk. I'm just going to give you just this last chance. And if you mess around with it, I promise you the next minute from this time will be his to you. Speak! Where is Jack's location? Sir. So, <clears throat> I'll talk. Um, Miss Rose, you can, uh, you just have to calm yourself down. You just put yourself together in respective of what has happened, okay? Why we are here is to help this work out. Now listen, the, the reason I had to call you here is because I want you to me some necessary information that would help us investigate this matter perfectly. All right, now see, can you really recall what's happened? Um, what can you remember what really happened in the wedding? The only person I saw immediately the gunshot happened was Gabriel.
Mr. Gabriel. You see, the best you can do for yourself at this point is to cooperate. If you can cooperate, you can work things out and do better. I want to speak with my lawyer. Mr. Gabriel, your lawyer has no say in this. This is about you. The law itself has not set place of justice. So what we need now are people like us who would give up their life to get justice in place. May I also make you to understand that you don't have the right to my feet. Do you realize you are talking to Detective Ben? The name doesn't ring a bell. Which of the children played the day right? You know, I really love people like you who claim to be too stubborn. And I love playing this. Because we'll play it to the full. And we'll see who goes home. The ghost. Listen to me. You'd better do yourself good by speaking. Who are you working for? I want to speak with my lawyer. You see, panting and shouting would not help anything. Now, let me give you a brief story. You are married with two kids. And this has been a secret for a very long time. Nobody knows that Gabriel, the assassin, has a family. As I speak to you right now, your wife and two kids are in my course study. You see, Detective Ben walks like a spirit. I go through the walls you don't think I could ever be. It will be of good cheers to you if only you can cooperate and save the life of your family. Because if you don't, I don't mind pulling down people to get the truth from men like you. So you better speak. Who are you working for? Until I have my lawyer here. You're not going to find anything for me. Rather, keep enjoying the games here. You know what? I love people like you. I repeat again, your lawyer has no part to play in this. Not when I'm involved. I'll give you some time to rest. Get cool and think over it. Compare your family to the information I need from you. It's either you take the information to your family or you take your family for the information. You have a choice to make. Mr. Gabriel, You know, I told you last time I'll give you some time to think about what we discussed and to also have some good time to change your mind and choose the right path. I will start this way. I had a brief interrogation with Ruth Ikena. Um, I heard all she told me 
that you have done to her. And it can. And it sounds clear that you plotted to kill him on the wedding day. But because you were unable to get it, you are here now. I wouldn't want you to be hard. But just do this to help yourself and your family. I now have it clear that your reason for that mission was to assassinate again. And your family is also in my custody. You see, more evidence arising. Who is winning? You see, I, I had to go through some research. I interrogated a girl we caught with you. And she has confessed. She said you aimed at Ikina. That the mission was to assassinate him and take his life totally. And also, Rose has also testified of all you've done to them. The pains you've caused she and again all this while. So you see, your path is close. I already told you this is the end of the road. All I need from you is to tell me who you are working for. And I will let you go. Your family will be free. Mr. Gabriel, the ball is on your court to play. So you have a choice to make. That is my kid. You see, I'm a man of my words. Your wife and kids are doing very well for now. But I am afraid that if you don't comply, in the next few hours or minutes, they might be passing through some hell. And when I tell you hell, I mean it. Because I'm deadly than you are. So it's better you comply now, it's good. And now I am coping with you. Who are you working for? We're in the society where some people feel they are called to some people Society where some persons feel that they are superior, while others are inferior. I was born on the street. And I know someday the street will take me. I'm not a bad person. When I school and I graduated, Search for job, and I couldn't find one. As a first class graduate from one of the prestigious, amazing university here in Nigeria, the only job I could do was a dirty job for the politicians. I know you're not going to do anything about it. I was contracted. <sighs> Woman. This is Anita. You see, I had to come here my own self to see you in person because this whole matter is getting complicated. I came in respect of your wife that was invited to the station. You see, after our whole investigations and findings, we find out that your wife um, is highly involved in the plot of a kidnapping kidnap. As a matter of fact, she's working with some team of assassins. I said it. I knew it. I have the feelings. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, well, officer. Justice has to be done. Yes. Since she was found guilty, prosecute her. It's all right, Doctor. I just um, thought it wise to come see you in person because of the personality you are in the States. I thought it's right to come meet you and explain things to you the way it is. And from the look of things, any time from now, she will be charged to court to face the law. You just have to take it the way it is. Thank you very much. You have done your own part. Still, the law has to take its course. Definitely, sir. I went through a lot. My husband went through a lot. They threatened our lives in so many ways. No. It wasn't easy for us then. It was not easy for us. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm really sorry about all this you've been through. I'm sorry about the whole pains. You know, I really feel what you feel. I know I, how it tastes. Okay, I'm coming back. Like, about your missing child. What do you think? How did it happen? On that very day of my delivery, after I had my child, everybody was happy. My husband was excited. My parents, they were all happy. All of a sudden, my child got missing in the hospital. I was just so devastated then. I don't know. I felt like my whole life was shattered. Well, we tried all our possible best. My dad especially. He wasted a whole lot of resources to make sure that we find her. We couldn't. You see, Miss Rosa, I, I realize you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And I really feel for you. You see, I have this to promise you. I will try my whole best, being my profession, to get to the very roots of this. Those that are involved, those that have done this, I will make sure I do my best to Amen. bring them to book. All I just wanted to do is to cheer up life, fix back yourself and be the person you used to be. Everything will fall from your place. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's all right, you're welcome. Good day, Ma. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our unique fabric of quality yes. Thank you. I came to pick some um, stuff for my daughter. Aww. Auntie, good afternoon. Mm. Good afternoon, Angel. How are you? Auntie, I'm fine, thank you. Auntie, you're beautiful. Are you pretty too? Seems like my daughter really likes you. <laughs> She's just an angel. She's very smart. Well, you can get yourself comfortable anything at all. Please don't be offended. Okay. My sales girls, they are not around. I sent them on an email. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, just, just look fine. around. What you call your mom? No, I don't want to go with that. I want to stay. I want to chat to you. <laughs> Oh. So what's your name? My name is Christabel. 
And so what about you? What's your name? <laughs> My name is Rosemary, but I'm called Rose Mustafa. Okay, that means I'll call you Mrs. Rose. And so I know you are married, but do you have a child? How do you know I'm married? The ring on your finger. My aunt in school told me that the symbol of married woman is when you see a ring on her fourth finger just as you have it on yours. Wow. Wow, Christopher, you're really smart. Well, I am married and I have a 14-year-old daughter named Christiana. And did you say Christiana? Yes, do you know? I have a friend who's called by the name Christiana King. Which school is that? King David College. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's time. It's time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, this should go for seven thousand. Okay, yeah, so it's that's um, twenty-one thousand. That's fine. Do you like them? I need your account number because. Okay. Let me show you. What do you have? Three. Oh, I just got your lads now. Let me pass it. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, these clothes will really be nice on her. Ah. She's just a very beautiful girl. I should like this white. your Christiana for me and I'll greet my when I get to school. I will do just that. Take care of her for me, please. insult you Rose, talk to me i said did anybody insult you see when i came in i saw one woman with her daughter going out what happened did they insult you did they do anything to you please talk to me because i know what customers can do talk to me talk to me what happened now no she did not then what happened it's my baby my child i get it your stolen daughter child I'm so sorry about that. I think we've thought over this now. Please stop this. Stop this. I don't Please. like seeing you this way. Please stop being this nice. means, yes, I oh. scored 80 over 100. Hmm. 80 over 100. Jealousy. Are you sure? My friend, are you, you sure? Hair. Guess what? What happened? I and my mom went on shopping. And what happened next? I met a new friend in the boutique. And her name is Mrs. Rose. Mrs. Rose? Uh -huh. A married woman? Uh -huh. Your friend? Uh -huh. You're not serious. Do you know what? And what happened? She has a 14 year old daughter. And she's running really sick. Are you sure you're not talking about my mom? Because my name is Christina. My mom's name is Mrs. Rose. Mm -hmm. And my mom has a boutique. I'm not sure she's talking about your mom. Maybe she's talking about another person. Well, let's go incident. Why is that mom not coming to me? Because I'm really tired. Okay. Don't 
Excuse me, madam. Yes, I am DSP John from the state CID. Okay. Are you Mrs. Caroline? Yes, I am. It's all right. Do you related with uh, one uh, uh, Christabel? Yes, she's my daughter. It's all right. Please, I want to uh, get one or two things for you, if you don't mind. Okay, there's no problem. It's all right. So, can we go together? Oh, okay. Before I leave, can I just make two calls? That's no problem. You're free. Okay. Mrs. Caroline, the claimed mother of Christopher. Excuse me. Christopher is my daughter. Miss Caroline, I want you to cooperate with us. If you cooperate, I believe this investigation will give you a rest and will give you the best of us. And also try to make sure that you don't fall a victim of the law. Miss Caroline, did you in any way have any conversation with Dr. William? Yes, yes I did. And if I may ask, what was it about? It was about donation of blood to my daughter to survive. Did you donate it? No. Why didn't you donate the blood? My blood do not match that of hers. Isn't it unfortunate that the blood of a mother could not match that of a daughter? No. In some cases, you give birth to a daughter and the blood group do not match because it has to do with blood um, formation of both partners. Perfect. Perfect. Miss Caroline, are you aware that the DNA test of your daughter, Christopher, is out? No. Are you also aware that the result speaks that there is nothing in connection between you and your husband that is related to Christabel, your so-called daughter? No. Miss Cameron, if we can do this in an amicable format, I believe we will result in a perfect way. We all will go back with perfect justice. Now I want to ask you for the last time. Who is the mother of Krista? Speak! She was sold to me. I hope. I hope. And my friend, Helen. Helen Pedro. Yes. The wife to the Minister of Information. Yes. The mother to Kennedy Pedro. Yes. The same woman that seeks the life of a king. I'm not aware of that. Miss Caroline. May I put it clear to you that you are not the biological mother of Christabel. The girl you call your daughter was stolen from a hospital. She was given birth to by one Miss Rosemary Ikenna, the daughter to Dr. William. Rosemary. 
Is it the one out there we could seek? Yes. Madam, my name officially is Sandra. Uh, officer, Doctor. So that is the fact. Yeah, Doctor. There's a lot of findings. Christabel is not a bad looking daughter of Caroline. That means I am right in my findings. Yes, Doctor. So, how does that concern Pedro and my daughter? Doctor, it's complicated. Complicated how? Because the wife is brain behind it. How come? Good afternoon, Honorable Minister. I I don't mind us to see in my house if you are less busy. Yes, no, 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 no not at all. Uh, just uh, a brief meeting. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You sounded so urgent on phone. I hope all is well. Uh, Don, all is not well. Something is about to happen. Uh, our relationship, all time friends, is about to be crushed. What? Are you listening to yourself? What, what, what did you say? Don, I can't believe that your wife is behind the plot of my granddaughter kidnap. Doc, is your grandchild kidnapped again? Still the same. The old one? Yes. My wife? My wife, Doc, do you know what you are insinuating? That my wife is behind your granddaughter's kidnap. If you want the proof, then go to the CP and confirm it. I know that my wife can at times, you know, be heady. But to mastermind a kidnap. Of a little child is inconceivable. You know how much I love my wife. I'm surprised you are insinuating this. You said the CP? I will do just that. I will get to the CP now. But, Dr. Williams. God help our friendship if I find it otherwise. Uh. 
Hello? Daughter? How are you doing? Uh, how is your husband? He's uh, fine as well. Okay. I hope both of you are free. Uh, yes. I would like to see both of you. Yes, in my house. No, 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 that's no problem. No, leave the children. Just both of you. Okay. That is my girl. Uh, how are we waiting? Uh, thank you. <coughs> my daughter. Yes, Dad. Mm. I am short of words. Uh, what am I about to tell you now? I know you don't expect it, but it's going to shock you. Do you know that Don's wife is the brain behind your daughter's kidnap? What? What? Don's wife is the brain behind my daughter's kidnap? No! What? What? What are you talking about? Don't wipe! Father, leave it. Wait, wait! Calm down. What are you. Don't wipe behind our daughter's kidnap and you here listening to. Uh, take it easy. Calm down. Calm down. Please, I'm still talking. Dad, please. Uh, just listen. I'm still talking. Uh, calm down. It, it did not. She did not stop at that. She plotted you. No. Okay. Yes. This is the height of it. Oh, why? This is the height of it! I am going straight to that useless woman's house. She kidnapped my daughter and also masterminded my kidnap. Never. Baby, please. Never. Baby, please. Never. No, no, no. Baby, what are you talking about? Do you know what I passed through? Do you know what I've gone through because of that woman? And my daughter is missing because of the same woman. Never. Baby, please. Baby, please. I cannot take this. Uh, never. She has done it all. She has done it all, my love. I am going there straight to deal with that man. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you asking me to do? What are you begging me for? What? Calm down, my son. Calm down. Father, why would I calm down? This woman kidnapped my daughter. And I was kidnapped because of this same woman. Are you asking me to calm down? For what? Calm down for what? Huh? She did all this because she wanted my daughter to why? Yes. Why? Daddy, why? why? I don't know what you are sitting here doing. I want to go there please myself. No, I want no, to no, see no, that woman face to face please. and look into her eyes and ask her why please. she would do such a thing. I, I have Is that not I, wickedness? I have sorted it out. I believe by now the police will be there for the arrest. Please, come down. <laughs> Comport yourself. Comport yourself. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Officer. Please, go fetch I have one word to tell you, honey. I don't want to listen to you. Follow them. Don't get me angry. Don't get me angry. Follow them. Move it, man. 
me out. And move it!